Hi everyone, here's Rodrigo from Doors Coding School. Today we're going to solve a problem called Paint a Maze. This is very similar to a problem called Search a Maze, which we've already solved here in the channel, so take a look at that. Uh, if you want to know the best resources to learn algorithm, I have a great video explaining how. Take a look at the description, click, click at the link and you'll see how I pass Microsoft using those resources. So without further ado, let's take a look at the problem, Paint a Maze. So let's take a look at that. So Paint a Maze is straightforward to understand. So you have a 2D array that will have black cells and white cells. So let's say we start where this cross is here. So what we want is to paint everything within the borders of this cross should be painted black. So this is what happened here. So everything, so not this white space is not here because they're blocked by these black spots, but everything within, so you're kind of expanding. If you ever played Minesweeper, it's almost like when you expand, the same idea. So if we started here, everything connected to this cell, which is also black, will be turning to white. So since this block up here at the top right is not white, we're not painting it, but all the remaining is painted white. So let's take a look at how that looks in code. So now we're gonna turn into our VS code and C use the debugger to understand how that works. So I like you, one way I like solving problems is having templates in your mind. Because when you're interviewing, you need to be quick and you have to come up with solutions on the spot without certain patterns. You're going to take a long time to solve problems. So one pattern I want you to memorize is this one here because it shows up again and again when you solve 2D problems. In the search maze, we use the same template. By modifying it a little bit, we can solve this problem. So let, let's take a look. So we have this array here. We have this array here. We're gonna, to the array, we're gonna start at the bottom left. So we want to paint this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, but not these zeros here because they're blocked by these ones, okay? So we're gonna call the function called paint and it's gonna be called uh, zero. Uh, the X coordinate will be uh, zero. Actually, let's make it length of maze minus one, which is basically the last row and the first column. So we're taking this bottom left. Uh, we need to paint the color, the opposite of the cell we're passing as a parameter. So the color of the cell we pass as a parameter is zero. We're gonna store that in a variable color and passing to this recursive function called paint path. So the same way as the search maze, we have a method that checks if it's within the bounds and also if it's not equals the color. So if it's equal the same color as the original cell, we're gonna paint it. If it's not, we're gonna return. So for example, we are painting recursively, we reach one. We don't wanna paint one, so we return. Uh, if we're out of bounds, we also return. So return means don't do anything. If all the conditions are true, so we are within the bound of a 2D array and the, the color is the same as the original cell, we're gonna paint it. So one way to do it is doing one minus color. Why? If color is zero, one minus zero is one, the opposite of zero. If the original color is one, we do one minus one, which turns into zero which is zero. So that way it's a technique for you to flip the color. And then we use the same technique we've been using so far. So we have a directions array. So the, the directions array is uh, right, down, left, up. We loop through these directions and we recursively call the function. So we're gonna keep recursively calling 
until all the cells that are connected to the first cell are painted. So let's see how that looks like using the debugger. So here I'm gonna run. So my maze is here, is one, 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 one. My original cell is, my first cell is three, zero. So three, zero is within the bounds, is not one. So we're gonna paint it as one. So that's what we want to do and that's what happened. So now this cell is one and we want to expand around it. So now we're gonna go to the right and recursively call it. So now we're at three, one, which is this cell here to the right. So uh, it is zero. So that means we're gonna paint it. So now it is one. And what we're gonna do is basically recursively call the function. So we're gonna go do the same thing. So now we should, uh, some of the directions won't work because we have a boundary here, but we should now go up. So let's see it going up. So now we should, so that's two, one, two, one. So now we're gonna paint this cell, so on and so forth. So if we continue this function, we're gonna get the result, which is painting all the cells. So as always, this code will be on GitHub. Another way to solve this is using Brad for search. So, you, you, so by recursively calling, we are doing that for search using the stack. But if we use a uh, queue, we can solve this problem using uh, Brad for search. So the code is available on GitHub. Any questions, let me know. Take a look at the algorithms video that I did with the best resources on the description. And uh, I'll be posting more videos. Hope you, I can help you in your algorithms journey. So see you in the next video.